was the stuff that was going on with Maya, was that, was that bothering you? Was that playing a factor into this? Yes, something you miss her. Hey everybody, it's me Josh with Hope Paranormal and tonight I'm asking for Liam Payne. Liam was 31 years old. He was a member of the band One Direction. He just died recently in Buenos Aires, Argentina, falling off a balcony. Liam seemed to have been going through some kind of difficulties a few days prior to his fall. He was there with his girlfriend, Kate Cassidy. He was there supporting a friend, uh, Niall, that was also another member of One Direction and uh, fell to his tragic death uh, off a balcony. Now, it's important that you understand a few things as I am gaining new people to this channel all the time. I know many of you have followed me for many years and understand what it is I do. I am a, an experienced medium. I've done over 3,000 mediumship readings I do them for regular people all the time. That's mainly what I do. I do ask for well-known people when requested or if I feel I have a connection to them. In addition to being a medium, I use uh, tools, instrumental transcommunication sometimes to reach people on the other side. Now, it's important you understand the methods and the process of what I'm doing. You know, traditional spirit boxes use radio, sound banks, forward speech to give spirit a chance to speak. Um, they don't have vocal cords, so they're not able to speak like you and I. That's why if I record um, on a voice recorder, you will hear a whisper because it's their energy and they're not using their voice as they would when they were alive. The problem with traditional apps and spirit boxes is that even though spirit can use that sound to form their own responses, you can still get false positives. So I use uh, reversed, slowed, chopped up audio of human speech so that there's no words. And I feed that to the, uh, my equipment, my program, the HSB Pro, which is on my computer, or the physical Hope Spirit Box, mixed with reverb, which elongates the sound wave and allows them to form their own speech. That way, if they don't use it, I only get gibberish back. But when they do use it, you hear words and phrases, intelligent responses. Um, I am using the Hope Voice Signature Method. That's when I'm able to take someone's real voice, their actual voice, do that method I just talked about, reversing it, slowing it, chopping it up so there's no words, and feeding it through, that enhances the connection. Using someone's actual voice, um, when they're able to do that, it somehow creates a better connection. It's like um, a frequency. It's, it's like a, a key to the right hole. Um, so I'm using Liam's voice. Some people ask me, what am I doing with my hand when I'm turning the dial? Well, I'm, I'm asking the question, I'm turning the dial and bleeding through some of that raw sound. So that is what I'm doing when I'm using the Pro computer program or the box. Some people say, well, how come it sounds like him? Well, because I'm using Liam's actual voice with no words in it. Some people say, well, how come, you know, I don't hear his exact accent? I don't know why their exact accent won't come through. It is exactly his voice, but it's not forward speaking words. So he has to form his own speech. So whether they were American, English, Australian, whatever it is, um, you will detect parts of their accent, but it's not going to come through as if they, when they were alive. So that's one thing to understand. 
I do not know if they were going to come through. I'm a medium, so I connect to them first, then I invite them to come through the box. So that's one aspect. Um, you know, I trust in my connection. I do this for family members and loved ones all the time, and we get accurate information. Sometimes people say, well, how come the responses are fragmented or they don't always answer your question perfectly? They're coming through from another dimension. Sometimes they don't hear exactly what I'm saying. They're responding to a previous question or sometimes it's a partial response because the program or the box will cut them off. This is re what real spirit communication is. And so it's not perfect. I've been doing this for over 12 years. I have no problem answering skeptics questions. Just be respectful. I don't tolerate any hate or any kind of you know, nastiness. That's not what I'm about. Um, I come out of love and respect when I do this. And I have no problem showing my sound source, showing my process. So that's important. If anyone is interested in any of the things I offer, my app, my book, my, my events, and all the other things I, I, I offer, hopeparanormal.com is where you can see all of that. All right, I'm going to just get quiet for a moment, turn on my warm-up app, which uses internet radio and skips it, and um, inv invite my guides to come through while I connect to Liam. So I've set foot into the astral room. It's a room in the astral world that I work from. So I'm just going to sit at the table, envision that. And I'm inviting Liam Payne. Liam Payne. Liam Payne. And I feel I see Liam. I'm envisioning him. I see a, uh, a button down shirt that's open to the guides. Is there anything you guys can say? I hear them saying, you know, he's here. He's willing to try. They're willing to help as they normally are. That's what I'm hearing intuitively. Anything else you guys want to try and say through the box before I give Liam his voice? Um, I greet you, brother. I see you. Are, are you here? Can you use this? You know, I know that you were there with your current girlfriend, Kate. I know that you were um, dealing with some, I don't know if it's legal stuff or, you know, I don't know, drama from a past relationship with this, with your ex, Maya. Was the stuff that was going on with Maya, was that, was that bothering you? Was that playing a factor into this? Yes, something you miss her. And that makes sense because you still were trying to call her and contact her. Um, you know, she was acting, you know, she had some kind of restraining order or something. I'm sorry to hear that, man. How do you feel now? Okay, it sounds like you're speaking and saying something. I did hear the very clear response you said prior. So that's good. I have faith that you can use this. I'm going to give you my box in a few minutes. I think that might be a little easier, but this is a clearer and a little bit of a better program. And some people might think that you did this on purpose. Did you jump off the balcony on purpose? Okay. I mean, 
you were there supporting your friend Niall, that was also a fellow band member um, of of yours, with one in One Direction, um, which is really cool. He was there doing a show, uh, which already had happened, I think, but you were there supporting him. What's something that you need to say or want to say, you feel like you need to get out, that you want people to understand? What are you seeing? What have you been seeing since your passing? Have you seen any light? Are you seeing other people? What are you seeing on the other side? Do you feel in some way kind of lost on the other side? Do you feel, you know, I, I can feel like you're upset, but you know, you don't seem erratic right now. You seem kind of calm. Do you feel that you're going to need help in any way or you could use some help? try and use my my box. I'm going to still run the sound from the computer. So give me a second here. Hold on. Let's let's test it out. Liam, can you use this? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. This might be a little easier for you. Let me ask you, do you see one of my guides there helping you? Okay, sounds like something, and yeah. Help us understand a little bit more about what you are experiencing on the other side. Help me understand, help the people that watch this, you know, thousands of people, fans of yours will see this. Help us understand what it is that you're seeing. What's it like for you on the other side? When I focused on you and I invited you and I called you and then I pictured you coming to the door, knocking on the door, what, what happened? Did you hear my voice? Did you get a, like a phone call? What was that like when I just called you? I said something. I hear you coming through, and I'm hearing just a few direct responses, so I think you're doing um, a good job. I know that I'm not hearing everything you're saying right now, but I will when I go back. And um, let me ask you this. What is something that you would like to say to all the people that are concerned, your fans? What would you like to say to them? I'm going to ask you, is there anything that you would like to say to Maya? I know she's pretty shocked and shattered about what happened to you. I know that that sounds kind of weird because she didn't want to be with you anymore or whatever that case, the, the case was there. But, you know, is there anything that you would like to say to her now? Now I'm, like I said, I'm going to go a few more minutes with you. Um, and if I, and I'm going to say prayers with you when I shut everything down, I'm going to turn the cameras off. I'm also going to ask people 
at the end of this video to pray for you, to envision your face and pray for you um, and to send you light and love. And I know that you will feel it. You will get a boost. You will get a surge of good energy um, when, when your fans, the ones that do see this, that do believe it, understand it, they will pray for you and they will send you energy, okay? I just would like to help. Um, of course, I want to capture your communication. I'd like to share it with people. But ultimately, my goal is to help because there are very few people that believe in this. Not to mention there are very few people that, that can do this in a way where it's real, where, where they can help be of service. Um, you know, uh, uh, that's what I believe, doing this a long time. I've seen a lot of, you know, charlatans and fakes and people with wrong intentions, and that, that's not who I am. So I want to just share that with you and, and let you know you know, if there is something I can do to help, I, I will do so, okay? this running for a moment. I just want to try this with you. This is a voice recorder. Just see if you want to give a message on here, okay? I'm just going to picture like a reporter holding it in front of you and you can speak on it. And let's see if you can use it. It may be a little easier for you. Harder for me, but easier for you. Liam, is there anything that you would like to try and say on here right now? about now. I can hear you speaking, but it is hard for me to understand right now. Hopefully I can make out more when I go back. Liam, I'm going to shut this off now. And like I said, I'm going to pray with you, invite you to pray with me and pray for you. And um, I just invite you to do that with me, okay? Just in this time, I can tell that he was coming through. I was feeling him. I can hear some of his responses coming through. Not all of them, um, but that's why I go back and I thoroughly review these sessions so that by the time you're seeing it, um, the, the captions are there. And, and I'm grateful. I'm going to shut the camera off now and I'm going to pray for him, but I invite you 
who's watching this to take a moment, envision Liam's face, say his name, and send him love and light and pray for him. He will feel it. That has been confirmed in many sessions. They can see the comments. They can feel your good energy. It's important. Last night, I did a session for Liam Payne, and I connected with him. I captured a few responses that were pretty uh, telling of what he was feeling, but there was still some, I feel, unanswered questions, and I wanted to give him a fair shot to try and communicate again. Liam, can you use this, Liam? Was the news that, you know, your, I guess, career wasn't going the way that you were hoping that the fact that um, your record label had dropped you, um, was that playing a part into what you were feeling? Yes. Is there anything about your death that you want people to know that you don't want any misconceptions about? Is there anything about what happened to you that you would like to clarify? Um. I hear yeah, and then I hear the word death again. So it sounds like you are giving us some response, even though I don't fully understand it right now. You shared with me outside, if I heard you correctly, that you know you felt a fear of being forgotten. You know, that you can hear all of these people talking about you. You know, it's like a bunch of whispers that you're hearing all at once almost. And you mentioned, is that what God hears when he hears prayers? But that, you know, that you felt that some of the people were genuinely, you know, upset about your death and that that moved you. But that other people were, you know, just trying to use your death to elevate themselves. Um, is that true? Did that is that what you were telling me? Did you see the light? Did you feel any of the light? Did you see the light when you when you crossed over? See it? See? Clearly even though you were involved with Kate in a relationship, um, there were still a great deal of feelings you had for Maya as you were still dealing with the, that loss and I don't think you were able to let go of that. Is there anything that you would like to say to Maya now in case she ever gets a chance to see this? She something? What is something that you would like to say to the fans, to the true people that really miss you and are upset? I'm getting a lot of requests for me to ask for you. What would you like to say to your true fans? Do you have anything that you want to say to your family? You know, whether it's your child or just your family, do you want to do you want to, you know, relay a message? I just want you to know as I sit here, I kind of picture you next to me. I have my hand on your back. Um, I kind of feel like you're 
almost like crouching here with me um, near the box. And, um, you know, some people will have nothing but compassion for you. Some will say, you know, well, he did drugs. He, you know, why should we care? But I care, you know, and there's a lot of people out there that care. And, and that's important for you to understand. And it's also important to understand that no matter how bad we feel, we can always turn to, to God, to our higher power, ask for help, and we will receive it. We may still have to go through a part of our journey. Uh, there's no question about that, but God loves us. And when we turn to him for help, he will help us. Do you hear what I'm saying to you on that? Okay. Final message. Before I shut this down, I'll give you the final message. Anything else you want to say? this off. Let's pray. And uh, you will not be forgotten. All right. <laughs>